look at my roots, man. Oh my god, this isn't even vintage, it's from H&M. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I really wanted to follow on from my vintage styling video. I mentioned in that video that I've got a lot of coats and jackets. Um, that's probably kind of my favourite part of my vintage collection. I think my style is very much minimal in the sense that I don't wear a lot. I don't. I'm not a huge accessoriser. I don't layer very often. It's kind of a minimal amount of things that I wear, but then the things that I do wear are generally statement pieces. Um, Usually that is either coats or boots. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have noticed that quite a lot of my outfits are essentially underwear and a coat and a pair of boots. <laughs> um, yeah, I do, I do quite often like to take one statement piece and really let that do the talking. I don't know if that's through laziness or it's just the way I like to do things. So for today's video, I thought I'd go through my collection, show you all my coats, where I got them from, uh, a few ways I'd style them. Yeah, so if you want to see my vintage coat collection, please do watch on and I hope you enjoy the video. First up we have this blue jacket. I got this from a stall in Camden Market, I think. Um, I absolutely adore it. I love the colour, I love the bagginess, I just, I love the 80s kind of vibes it has. I think it was about 10, 15 pounds. It was definitely not expensive at all. They're really, um, with this, again, I like to kind of play it quite neutral underneath uh, just because it is so bright and the jacket's a pretty big statement piece in itself. I've just gone with some bike shorts and sports bra just for basic neutral canvas to show off the jackets. But I think a pair of Converse is quite cute. I love it so much, in fact, that I also have a red one. It's not exactly the same, but it's a pretty similar idea. I feel very thriller in this jacket. kind of makes me want to get a perm and listen to Madonna. This was from a vintage fair in Newcastle. I think it was called Lola's? Lola's Vintage Fair, is that a thing? I remember I was absolutely skin and I was like, I'm coming to browse, I will buy anything. And then, yeah, I fell in love and here we are. There's only ever been one time that I've fallen in love with a jacket and said, you know what, you'll regret it, don't buy it, save me money. And I regret it. But of all the times I've given in and bought it, I've never regretted it. So the moral of the story is, buy the vintage jacket. Next up we have this coat. I absolutely adore this in winter. It goes surprisingly with a lot more than you think. It's quite bold but because you've got the red, the green and the yellow um, it actually complements a lot more than you think it would. Obviously it's far too hot at the minute to be wearing it but it's definitely my favourite winter piece I think. This looks really cute with a nice pair of winter boots, knee high boots, ankle boots whatever you fancy. But again, I think this was about £15 um, from Vintage Fair. I can't remember which one. I've had this one a long time. You see, this is a problem. Coats are generally really expensive, but if you fall in love with one and it's like 20 quid, I'm gonna get it. And then now I've got nowhere to put them and it's become an addiction. It's occurred to me that a lot of these are red. I don't necessarily have a favourite colour, but I guess it must be red because a lot of what I own is red. This one is stolen from my mum's wardrobe, as is a lot of my favourite pieces. And I'm not entirely sure what era this is from. It's probably 90s if I had to guess. I think I nicked this when I was like 12, 13. I've had it a long time. And it's always been one of my favourite pieces that I always bring out every summer. Again, this is fairly easy to style. I'll actually pop a picture in here of how I styled it a few weeks ago. I decided to go for quite a 60s look. I used a machino headscarf, I think it was, and a white turtleneck. I'm now actually thinking, since then, I actually got some white boots off Depop that I think look really cute, so I'm just gonna grab them. Since I bought these, every outfit I've worn has just been made instantly better with these babies. So, so I'm sorry if they are all I wear on Instagram, but I'm also not sorry at all. Okay, you can't even see. But see, I need a bigger flat. See that outfit that I just put up? Would have looked a million times better with these. So yeah, I'm just gonna be wearing these forever from now on. But the cool thing about this is that denim jackets have always been in, I guess. So I think whatever decade you're going for, you could probably make this work. I mean, obviously, it doesn't scream 60s, but I think, if I do say so myself, uh, I made it work quite well for a still fairly 60s vibe. Next up is... This baby, I mean this is instantly just very 70s inspired. I'm not entirely sure it's authentic 
vintage from the 70s. I got it off Depop, it was listed as vintage. If it is, I think it's been taken care of very well because it's still in amazing condition. I don't know, it just feels quite new to me. But who knows? It's still cute, it's still got that 70s feel. I've been wanting a pair of cowboy boots for ages, but I've still not yet found the right ones. But when I do, it's gonna be an unstoppable combo. Again, this was £15. Um, and obviously with vintage stuff, you can't go out and buy the same ones. But I think obviously the main reason that a lot of people go for fast fashion is that it's so cheap. Um, but vintage can be just a cheap, if not cheaper option, especially like with Depop. People generally do get really surprised when I'm wearing a coat and I'm like, yeah, it was 20 quid, 15 quid. So I just thought I'd mention where I can, how much I paid for these, just because, just because I think vintage is probably more accessible than people think. I know not physically, if you live in quite a small town, you don't have many shops or fairs around, but there's so many cool places online. Um, Instagram is full. There's Depop. There's honestly all sorts of options. So next time you log in onto Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing, try some more vintage. You can get something cool, unique, and it's better for the planet itself. So, win-win. Next up we have another vintage fair find. This was also £15. A good tip, despite what I just said, a lot of vintage shops do obviously sort of charge a lot because, you know, a lot of care and attention and time goes into finding these pieces. So a lot of the time for a good quality piece you do want to go somewhere that's charging a bit more, but if you can't afford it, a good tip is kilo sales. Normally the way they work is you get a bag, you fill it up, and you pay by the kilo of how much the stuff weighs. But then when it comes to heavier stuff like coats, they'll just put a fixed price on. So the reason that a lot of my coats are £15 is because most places like that will just put a £15 limit on weight. So all coats therefore end up £15, which I mean I think this was expensive. Definitely worth more than 15 quid. But yeah, so that's my little hack if you want a cheap winter coat. I know we're still in July and we haven't really had a summer yet, but um, time flies. Well you know it, it'll be October and you'll be wanting a nice fur coat. So this again, I've got a pair of black knee high platform boots that I pretty much will always wear with this. It's so lazy but so simple. Oversized coat, knee high boots, boom, done, cute. This particular coat actually inspired my first ever blog post back in the day. It's probably about four years ago now, but it was the first time I went out and like did a shoot with an outfit because I was just so excited with what I got at the vintage fair. It's very special to me this one because if it hadn't inspired me, I might not be doing this now. And then last up we have this biker jacket here. I'm not gonna lie, I feel cool as f in this. Who do I think I am? I can't remember exactly how much this one was, I think it was about £25. As you can probably hear, it's really squeaky, so I don't actually wear it very often. But I might put together a little outfit for Instagram in this actually, because it definitely has not had the love it deserves yet. It's so squeaky. Yeah. Ah. Same with the denim jacket, it's so easy to style a leather jacket. Obviously because this is like a biker jacket, it's a lot bigger than a leather jacket, it is incredibly heavy. Yeah, I might double leather it, I've got some leather shorts. You only have me coming a mile off. Okay, I'll go back to this one just to round up the video. Yeah, that is my vintage jacket collection. Um, I think that's all of them, minus ones that were featured in my last video. No doubt as shops start to open and I can get into London that I will add to this collection. Don't tell my. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy at my coat collection. If you're yet to be converted to the vintage side, I hope this helped. Please do give me a like, a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!